from that big tree at Rockefeller Center to the decorations on display for the first time and live streamed from Inwood at the corner of Dykeman and Broadway in Upper Manhattan. This is a different kind of holiday season. At the St. George Theater on Staten Island, the show must go on. It shouldn't be us uh, here on the stage, uh, Doreen. No, we sh this is not the norm. So who would think uh, a year ago there would be 200 people scurrying around. For 17 years, the St. George Theater has held multiple holiday performances on a weekend in December. The audience totaling 10,000 people. They have to keep the tradition alive this year. That means online, they're expecting at least 10,000 views. 2004, my mom, the late Mrs. Rosemary, my sister and I saved this theater. And right away, my mom said, we have to produce a holiday show that's affordable for our community. Dancing, singing stories, the show will be available for free beginning on Sunday at 7 p.m., showcasing some brand new performances and highlights from 2018 and 2019. Doreen, I, I know I know that there's some Christmas here somewhere and it's here in the lobby. Well, this is our sled that the official Mrs. Claus slides out to start the show where she greets Santa Claus. The sleigh will be a part of this year's virtual show, broadcast first at 7 p.m. Sunday, free to watch on Facebook, YouTube, and stgeorgetheater.com, where you can view it all month. They love traditions here. This place was built in 1929. Magic and memories have always been a part of the holidays. This year might just require a little bit more. I'm keeping my spirits up. We have to. So starting on Sunday when we premiere our Christmas show, we're hoping to add so much happiness and joy during these difficult times. Maybe I'm just looking on, uh, looking on the bright side because of all the lights, but uh, you know, the virtual experience allows many of these nonprofits, uh, the theater, St. George Theater, to extend the reach uh, and to also put out a call uh, for donations and for support and just the uh, anticipation of looking ahead to 2021. Live in Diker Heights, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.